Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into one of the most enigmatic and chilling true crime stories of all time, the Zodiac Killer. This enigmatic serial killer terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area in the late 1960s and early 1970s, leaving a trail of unsolved murders, cryptic ciphers, and eerie letters that continue to baffle law enforcement and amateur sleuths to this day. In this video, we're going to explore the history, victims, suspects, and theories surrounding this infamous case. So, if you're a true crime enthusiast or just fascinated by unsolved mysteries, buckle up, because this one's a roller coaster. Our story begins in the late 1960s in the peaceful neighborhoods of San Francisco. It was a time of free love, counterculture movements, and a seemingly endless summer. But lurking in the shadows was a sinister figure, a killer who would later become known as the Zodiac Killer. The Zodiac's reign of terror started in December 1968 with the murder of high school students David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen near Lake Herman Road in Vallejo, California. This horrific event marked the beginning of a series of brutal crimes that would send shockwaves through the entire nation. Before we dive deeper into the mystery, let's take a moment to remember the victims of the Zodiac Killer. Throughout his reign of terror, the Zodiac is believed to have killed at least five people and possibly more. His known victims include David Faraday. Betty Lou Jensen, Darlene Farron, Brian Hartnell, and Paul Stein. The brutality of these crimes left a lasting scar on the community, and the killer's actions sent shockwaves throughout the nation. One of the most perplexing aspects of the Zodiac Killer case is the cryptic messages he sent to local newspapers. The killer sent a series of cryptograms or ciphers some of which have been decoded, but others remain unsolved to this day. The most famous of these is the 340-character cipher, which was only cracked in 2020 by a codebreaker named David Orenchak. This cipher, when decoded, did not reveal the Zodiac's true identity but contained a disturbing message about the killer's pleasure in his crimes. The Zodiac Killer was notorious for taunting law enforcement and the media with a series of letters, many of which contained detailed information about his crimes and included threats to continue killing. One of the most chilling letters sent to the San Francisco Chronicle in 1969 included a cipher that, when solved, contained the infamous line, I like killing people because it is so much fun. These letters added to the fear and paranoia that gripped the San Francisco Bay Area during the Zodiac's reign of terror. As the police investigation into the Zodiac Killer unfolded, one of the earliest suspects to emerge was Arthur Lee Allen. Allen was a convicted child molester who had a history of violent behavior and had been in trouble with the law. He even had a Zodiac symbol on one of his watches, and he resembled the composite sketches of the killer. However, despite the mounting evidence against Allen, he passed the polygraph test and was never definitively linked to the Zodiac's crimes. He died in 1992, taking the truth about his involvement, if any, to his grave. The Zodiac Killer case is unique in the annals of true crime in that it remains unsolved to this day. Despite decades of investigations, countless hours of detective work, and an array of suspects, the killer's identity has never been conclusively proven. This has led to a wealth of theories and speculation about who the Zodiac might have been. Now, 
let's explore some of the most prominent theories regarding the Zodiac Killer's identity. It's important to note that none of these theories have been definitively proven, and the case remains open. The Ted Cruz Theory Some amateur sleuths have suggested that the Zodiac Killer could be Texas Senator Ted Cruz, an idea that gained popularity during the 2016 presidential election. However, this theory is based on humor and is not taken seriously by law enforcement or experts. The Arthur Lee Allen Theory As mentioned earlier, Arthur Lee Allen was a prime suspect for many years. Some still believe he was the Zodiac Killer, even though no concrete evidence has been found to link him to the crimes. The Multiple Killers Theory some experts speculate that there may have been more than one person responsible for the Zodiac killings, given the varying descriptions of the killer provided by survivors and witnesses. This theory suggests a group or copycat killers may have been involved. The Military Connection Theory some researchers have pointed to the possibility that the Zodiac killer had military training which could explain his ability to elude law enforcement and his proficiency with codes and ciphers. The Zodiac Killer's legacy is a chilling one. His crimes, letters, and ciphers continue to captivate the public's imagination and inspire countless books, movies, and documentaries. The fear he instilled in the San Francisco Bay Area lingers and the case remains a subject of intense debate among amateur sleuths and true crime enthusiasts. In conclusion, the mystery of the Zodiac Killer is one of the most baffling and enduring true crime puzzles in history. The killer's identity remains unknown, and the case continues to fascinate and terrify people to this day. While the investigation may have grown cold, the desire to unmask the Zodiac Killer and bring justice to his victims remains as strong as ever. As more information and evidence emerge, there is still hope that one day the enigma will be solved. Until then, the identity of the Zodiac Killer remains a haunting mystery that continues to captivate our collective curiosity. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into the chilling and perplexing world of the Zodiac Killer. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on our latest true crime investigations and unsolved mysteries. And as always, if you have any thoughts, theories, or comments on the Zodiac Killer case, please share them in the comments below. We love hearing from you, our fellow true crime enthusiasts. Stay safe out there, and until next time, take care.